Hello, trading is closed on September 23rd, 2015. I'm Jeff Tennant. As usual, let's go over my calls. I was looking for a gap outside of the day's range. That didn't happen. Usually when I call for a gap outside of the day's range, it means I have positive and negative indicators. If we don't have the gap, the next most common thing is we close little change. And that's what happened today. Usually when that happens and we close little change, we get to move out of the range on the following day. We did really have a big drop in futures overnight down to uh, 19, I think it was 19, 1910.50, I think, and uh, we had every reason to keep on dropping if it was the market's intention to do that. It was quite a remarkable recovery, if you ask me, and we'll come back to that in just a minute. MJT had a day when everything worked as it's supposed to. We had an ultimate sell signal early on. The color-coded price target was here, which we hit. After the sell signal, the market rallied. MJT said it was a false move in that on or after this time, prices would return to this color-coded yellow line, which they did. So all the way down here, MJT says it's false and prices will recover. It gave an ultimate sell signal in the afternoon. The target was hit instantly. BJT said it was a false move that prices would return to this line on or after this time, which they did. Don't have any MJT calls for tomorrow, so we have to use other stuff. Well, I think this was pretty impressive action today. Here's our resistance level from uh, Tuesday. We were actually able to break through the highs. The more times you hit resistance, the more likely it is you're going to break through. We have, a, we have what was ostensibly a down day, but we couldn't undercut yesterday's low, and we couldn't close under any of today's lows. So we have higher highs and higher lows on a day when everything I thought was all set up to tank, and where it actually had to recover from a tank overnight. Not only that, we have MACD divergence on the 15-minute chart. We have a DeMarc signal to go along. Here's the buy, bar 13, finishing early. Of course, the signal doesn't have to work. It could fail. We could get bar 13 for real. We could get um, a 9.13.9, but at least there is a buy signal. Yesterday, I thought I had this Elliott Wave pattern all picked out. We had the 1, 2, 1, 2, and a big crash in Wave 3, a multiple degree. I said all we had to do was start off by having a gap under this low. Well, that didn't happen. This could be 1, and we still could get 3. I can't say it's impossible. But that's no longer the only count. This could be 1, this could be A, and this could be B. And we could have a wave C up. This whole thing could be an alternate A, and a B wave can go any place. We also have a stilt and a diamond. We could get a stilt-like move up. It doesn't break any of the rules I have. If we do have a stilt-like move up and you're a long-term trader, you won't really care because ultimately the market's going to be much lower. But if you are a day trader, this could be a disastrous 1% plus up move. I think tomorrow we're going to promptly move out of today's range. If we undercut today's lows promptly, ideally by having a gap under it, we could still have a big drop. But if that doesn't happen, I look for higher prices. We might even come back in the 1960s. And uh, that's today's call.